Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little bit different. This is really more of a thank you video because I have finally hit 100 subscribers. I actually can't believe it. Like I am so elated and excited. Like I don't even know like what to think right now. It's so crazy. I like seriously started making my booktube videos at the beginning of this year. January 3rd was my 2019 wrap up video. That's where I like really committed to booktube and really wanted to have a presence on this platform. And the fact that we are in May and I've already hit 100 subscribers. I'm so eternally grateful to you guys. Like thank you so much for supporting my channel and watching my videos and really connecting with me through my content. I love you guys and appreciate you guys so, so much. So for today's video, I wanted to do the booktube newbie tag because I have yet to do it and I thought hitting 100 subscribers would be the perfect time to do it. So if you would like to see me do the booktube newbie tag, keep on watching. So before we start this video, I'm going to do the same disclaimer that I do in pretty much every single video and that is if you hear my great Dane crying or whining upstairs, she's not hurt or dying or anything of the above, she's absolutely fine, she's just dramatic, but here on this channel we deal with it. So that's that she's actually asleep right now and with any luck she will stay asleep for the whole video um i have the booktube newbie questions on my laptop along with like some point form points of my answers so let's get right into it and the first question is why did you start this channel i feel like the most obvious answer would be because i love to read but that also comes with the fact that i wanted to be able to connect with people who also like to read and even if we end up not liking the same books, still being able to share our opinions and our perspectives on books is just something that I really, really wanted to be able to do. I'm a super emotional person, so when a book has the ability to actually move me, um, it just, it's something that's really special to me and I wanted to be able to share it with people on a platform and I figured that BookTube would be the best place to do that. Um, the next question is, what are some fun and unique things you can bring to BookTube? And honestly, I feel like myself as a person and a being would be the most fun and unique thing that I can bring to booktube and it would be the same for everybody else on booktube and that's because even though you might see a lot of the same videos like tbr videos or like haul videos and like recent reads or wrap-up videos nobody can do that video the way you or I can like there's always going to be some sort of little difference in there that makes it unique or special I also think that my personal perspective as well as everybody else's perspective is what is unique that's brought to booktube and that's because again similar with the videos even if we have the same opinion on a book the reason that we have that opinion might differ greatly like your perspective and your why as to why you have that opinion is always going to be or more than likely going to be different from other people's and i'm excited to be able to bring my perspective to the table and be able to share that with you guys uh, the third question is, what are you most excited for about this new channel? I'm really excited to see my channel grow and to be able to make new connections on booktube. I think that's definitely what I'm most excited for. And the fact that I've already hit 100 subscribers is awesome. That means that my channel is growing and that's really great and something that I love to watch. So the next question is, why do you love reading? Okay, so for a couple of reasons. One would be, I'm a homebody. Any excuse that I can take to not leave my house, I will take it. Like, I don't like to leave my house at all. I love being at home. I love my own company. So reading provides me with the opportunity to not only travel to like different countries, but also like quite literally completely different worlds from the comfort of my home. And I really like that. I'm also someone who sucks at making friends. Like I am horrible at making friends. It could be, it's more than likely my personality or my demeanor, but like I'm, I'm terrible at making friends. I'm a really good friend, but I'm terrible at making friends. So I enjoy reading about those types of relationships and those bonds opposed to actually having to form them myself, which is really bad, but it's the truth. So there we go. The fifth question is Booker series, um, what book or series got you into reading? And there's really two books that got me into reading. So the first one was The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. And that's because this book had the, it was the first book and I think the only book, yeah, this is the first and only book that actually made me cry while reading it. And that was something that was so powerful to me. Like I couldn't believe that a book was actually able to do that to me. So that was something that was really special to me. And then the next one was we Were Liars by E. Lockhart, which I have somewhere but can't find. And that's because when I initially finished reading this book, I hated it. Like I was so angry. I couldn't stand this book. I wanted nothing to do with it. Like I was so pissed after I read that book. But for whatever reason, I couldn't get it out of my mind. Like even a week after I had finished reading it, like it was just still 
kind of bouncing around in my head and when I really thought and reflected on it I realized that I loved that book so much and the fact that a book was able to take me through a roller coaster of emotions so long after I had finished reading it I was like that's beautiful and from since then on I've just been hooked on reading and I just I wanted I kept on chasing that feeling that that specific book gave me and I've just I've been hooked ever since so it was definitely a hate to love for me when it came to We Were Liars and I'm really happy that it was because it got me hooked on reading. Um, the next question was, oh, what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? And for this, I would ask, first of all, how do you guys read so fast? Because I'm a very slow reader. So I would literally ask any booktuber, how do you read so fast? And then I would ask my favorite booktubers, if you could only own one book for the rest of your life, not read, own one book for the rest of your life, what would it be? because I literally cannot answer that question. I have no idea. <laughs> um, the seventh question is, what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be hardest to overcome? And I honestly think it'll just be growing your, like growing my channel and getting to connect with as many people as possible. But I know that that's a challenge that comes with, I just spat on my laptop, that's nice. Um, I know that that's a challenge that comes with creating any YouTube channel, not just booktube, any YouTube channel will come with that challenge of the initial growth process. So I'm not overly concerned about it, but I'm definitely, um, avidly trying to make content that people are interested in so that my channel can grow and that way I'm able to reach more people on my platform and thus have more people to talk about books with so yeah uh t -t -t when did you start reading I've always liked to read but I would say I fell in love with reading and really started keeping track of the books that I was reading and wanting to read more probably in the last year and a half or so so somewhere between 21 and 22 is when I really started to love and wanting to devour books is yeah pretty recently actually um where do you read I like to read on my bed or in my or on in my couch really in my bed or on my couch <laughs> um yeah I can usually read anywhere but I don't like to read in places where I'm going to be interrupted because I like to have like a sort of flow while I'm reading and I get really irritated when that flow is interrupted like even when I'm at home and reading if someone calls me in the middle of my reading I get very very irritated so it's probably why I'm not good at making friends anyways um and the last question is what kind of books do you like to read this is easy I love and live for YA contemporary that is just like my holy grail of genre for books I love YA contemporary although I have been getting more into like nonfiction and fantasy and like mystery th thriller books YA contemporary will always be like my one true love so yeah that's it for these questions um thank you guys so much for watching and again thank you so much for 100 subscribers i am so grateful and i can't wait to keep on making more content for you guys and keep on discussing books with you guys so with that being said if you guys have any recommendations or requests for booktube videos that you would like to see me do or just videos in general that you would like to see me do leave them in the comments down below and i will absolutely do them if i can and until then i will see you guys in the next one bye